Hey, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on combination and permutation. I want to really quickly note that um, I'm using this notation with a P outside, which can get confused with probability, but it's for permutation with two numbers in the parentheses. A lot of calculators use this notation with the P, or if it's combination of C, with the two numbers before and after. Um, there are some calculators that are a lot more like computers that do use this function notation as well. So you have to figure out which notation your calculator uses. Mine use this one. Um, so just make sure you know which one to use. So for my calculator, I type in 15 and then it's going to be NPK or sometimes it's NPR. I think it's NPR on my calculator and then four. Um, So each calculator is a little bit different, um, but you just need to figure out the functionality on your calculator. A lot of times the calculator, you need to go into um, a math menu or a probability PRB menu to find this functionality. On my calculator, it's above the multiply and divide. I have a Casio 115. Um, I have another calculator where there's actually a NCR button that is just a button near the top. I have a lot of calculators. Um, so you just need to figure out your calculator because really that is the trickiest bit about combination and permutation, figuring out which one to use and how to use your calculator to get it to function. Okay, so what does per uh, permutation mean? It basically means a truncated factorial. It says 15 factorial, 15 times 14, 13, 12, but only do the first four. So this literally means 15 times 14 times 13 times 12. It, it means do the first four numbers of 15 factorial. That's what permutation means, a truncated factorial. Um, we utilize it when order matters. So order matters. If you are new to combination and permutation, that might not quite make sense yet. But if you watch enough videos and kind of watch enough examples, you'll start to see the difference between when order matters and when order doesn't matters matter. Eventually, I'll have examples where I use both combination and permutation, and then you'll start to understand the difference. Okay, so um, the permutation of 15 Four uh, is thirty-two thousand seven hundred and sixty. Now fifteen six, so we take two more numbers. So add on the ten and the nine, brings us up to a much bigger number. Um, three million six hundred and three thousand six hundred. And this p nine nine, that's um, the permutation of nine taken nine at a time. So that's all nine of them. This is, this is exactly the same as nine factorial because we're saying, hey, we want all nine items of nine factorial. So the permutation of nine taken nine at a time. So this is actually going to end up being 362,880. Um, next, it says, how many different ways can 11 people be sat in 11 seats? Be seated? They should be seated. Um, well, if you're talking about sitting in seats, order matters because you care who you sit next to. So this is the permutation of 11 people sitting in 11 seats. It also could be 11 factorial. Again, when these numbers are the same, it's the same as the factorial. And so this ends up being 30... 9,916,800. So when you were in class and you were all sitting in the bus or wherever you were going and you're like, how much does it matter? Uh, there were a lot of ways you could sit down. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.